Welcome back to the show, and I want to share with you one of the new products we have in the store that everybody's having a lot of fun with. It is called Flower Soft, and it actually comes just in a little container like this, and mixes like this. I'll, I'll flip it around so you can see better. It mixes with all kind of different colors, as well as, you know, some good old basic um, colors in solids. And of course, it's, it's like glitter. As you use it, you can create your own mixes because you can keep your leftover. One little jar like this goes a long way. And this is some of the projects that I did with it. I have my little bunny, and you can actually create these dimensional flowers just by taking a piece of floral wire putting some glue on it and rolling it around in the flower soft, which I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do. This is a cute little part. All I did was I took our little wooden flower pots and I actually took the um, terracotta acrylic paint and that's why it kind of looks like a terracotta pot. And I made some flowers, stuffed it in there. Then I added some of the green to look like, you know, how the moss grows on your plants. So, and I just wanted to have our little bunny here, even though it's not Easter. I just had a little bunny. And then this one is our little chick. Our little chick um, actually on the rubber stamp, the chick has sort of like a headband, but I thought when I looked at the headband, I thought it looked more like a hakule. And so that's why I took some green and some multicolored flower soft and kind of made it look like a hakule. And then I just put some like, like our little chicky is dancing in a flower bed. So this is what you do. I have two already here that is, has been stamped and I colored it in because, um, you know, someone also told me that you could probably take, say, my bright yellow and actually make the chick all fuzzy and fluffy. So I might try that another time. But you, we have the flower soft glue, which has a fine point but it's very similar to tacky glue. So you can also use your tacky glue. All I did was take the glue, squeeze some out right where I wanted it to go. So I just kind of colored it in a little bit like that. And the way I did my hakule was I took some of it and I think I'll make this one a different color hakule. This one is from the spring mix. So it's a little bit brighter. Now when you, it's very like a hole, it's packed in there pretty good. So I'm gonna just pull some out and I'm going to fluff it up before I use it. So what I mean is I'm gonna actually kind of spread it out so it's a little bit more fluffy and it's not so clumpy. See what I mean by a little bit is gonna go a long way. Okay. Now if you want to be particular, you can use like tweezers or something but I'm just gonna throw this on here and see whatever falls on there. Tap it off. And we got all kind of different colors going on in there. Tap it off. There we go. Now the thing with the flower soft too is you can actually build it. I have one layer here. If I wanted it to come out even more, I could put another layer of glue. I could put another layer of glue on top of this and build and make it even thicker. So what I'm gonna do now is I got my flowers for my hakule. And then I'm just gonna put the glue along the bottom. Another line of glue along the bottom. And I'm gonna take some of the green and I'll just Toss that on the side there. There's um, I think there's about two or three different shades of green. So the greens are really great to mix it up together. And then you get a nice little shaded of shades. So we're gonna smash that up. Well, not actually smash it up. So we'll just put it along there. So it's kind of like working with glitter. And we tap it off. And there, our chicky now has her little hakule on. And, you know, um, 
as the glue, you just leave it alone and the glue will dry. And it gets pretty solid there when it's on. It, the glue dries pretty fast. And you can do this. I just did little squiggly lines to make our little flower bed. Now, like I was saying, to make our little flowers, our actual three-dimensional flowers, and this is great if um, you have to do a science project. And we have um, in our stores the Cinerama. We have a lot of um, things that they can do their little settings, and we have the moss and the grass. And you can use this for grass too. But if you want to add a little bit color and you want to have maybe some flower fields or things like that, you could sprinkle some of that on. You just take your wire, and I'm just using one of my junky scissors. Okay, you can do things, you can leave it straight, or you can pre bend your wire to the shape that you want it to be, or you can do little swirls. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that when you coat the glue on, you want to make sure that it gets on the wire, all the surfaces, because then you'll, otherwise you'll just have to go back and add more. Okay. So we just do that like that. And you can just sprinkle it on or you can roll it around in there like that. And what I tend to do is, after I look at it a little, after I look at it a little, then I kind of pinch the top, because I usually like the ends to be a little bit more pointy. So I pinch it a little closer. And then on the bottom part, I want it to be a little bit thicker. So I might add some more glue, just so I can bulk it up a little bit. And then I'll get that little bit more dimension on the bottom. And it is soft. I guess that's why they call it flower soft. Because it looks like flowers and it is soft. <laughs> so that makes sense. But it's a great way to add another type of dimension. You know, instead of just always putting glitter or um, putting fun flock, this has a little bit different look. And it's so easy because just a few sprinkles looks like you did a whole field of flowers. It's really great. There we go. And there we're done. And this you would just glue it in your pot. So there's a lot of other ideas. And if you have some ideas that you have done, why don't you join us on the Joy of Crafting blog and let us know what you did with your flower sauce. So I'm going to finish up some more and make some more flowers. And we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back.